Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for January 2021. So I hope you're well Virgo. Let's get straight into the reading and pull your Spirit Message card. So what do we have for Virgo please? Okay. So, I mean, this is a card of passion. For me, it's finding your passion or something that's going to inspire your passion again this month. So we have a life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely energy there. Let's pull another card. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. And remember, Virgo, the message can be something big or small or specific. It can just be a message or advice. So let's see what we get for you. What do we have for Virgo, please? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. So there's a message here, number 10. Cosmic Ancestors, voice your concerns. I mean, there's definitely an energy of you're being watched over by your ancestors here, um, your ancestral line. It, it feels, you know, this energy of you're definitely being watched over here. So if you need help, there's definitely an energy of ask for it because it's almost kind of like that divine support is there for you. It feels very beautiful voice your concerns that's what you're being told and it feels like you might get those answers you might get that guidance you might get that clarity you might get that inspiration that you need and it feels to do with this kind of card um, ancestral line so very beautiful energy very powerful there so i'm going to pull three cards the first card is you your challenge that you need help from spirit on. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Virgo. Just do one more shuffle. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Angel spirits guides. January 2021. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. So the Knight of Swords is in your challenge position. Generally that's Gemini for me as a reader. Ten of Cups is advice from Spirit. And the Three of Cups Okay, can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, please? Angels, Spirits Guides for Virgo. What does Virgo need to hear? Thank you. What does Virgo need to hear? Thank you. Thank you. There you are, Virgo. The Hermit, this is your card, and it's your Major Arcana card. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. Clara oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I can't believe that came out. That is absolutely beautiful. I will, you know, there's a number of meanings to this, Virgo, but one of the meanings is your ancestors are watching over you. This is to do with family, but it's also kind of like your ancestral line from the other side watching over to you. I can't believe that that came out with this card as well. Absolutely beautiful. Three of cups is clarified with the three of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the seven of cups. So, I'm going to clarify this Knight of Swords. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords, please.
Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. It just literally fell out reversed. It fell out reversed. Uh, so the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. So Virgo, the, the Knight of Swords can be about news, information. And it feels to do with this Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, it can be to do with moving, relocating, um, offers on your home or you making an offer on somebody else's home. It can be that kind of energy. It can also be about career financial opportunities. It feels for some of you, you've had some bad news uh, and it's to do with, it could be lost opportunity here. Missing out on an opportunity. Yeah, it definitely feels in that energy. And it's either to do with moving, relocating or offer on a home. Um, or it's to do with career financial situations. So it could be to do with jobs or business. Receiving some bad news. And this is where it feels like you're regrouping. Because this is you reconnecting to you. But it's in your challenge position. And, you know, the... It's almost kind of like it's it's that reset thing. How do I deal with this situation? How do I, you know, recalibrate, reset, rethink this situation from within? Because the Hermit is an energy of finding illumination from within on how you need to take action in your external environment. It's a directional energy. Um, but it, it feels, I mean, this can be a card of healing, soul searching, introspection, finding your inner guidance on how you need to move forward externally. I mean, that's what the Hermit does so well, and it's your card. So this is about regrouping, reconnecting to who you are, finding illumination, shining the lamp from within, um, and getting enlightenment in that situation. So it feels very powerful energy, because the the kind of message here is with this Ten of Pentacles, I mean, this can be about the home, the family, um, can also be to do with money career. So like I said, similar to the Ace of Pentacles, the whatever works for you, I mean, the message is the same regardless of what which area this re applies to. The Ten of Pentacles is there's going to be some kind of goal achievement. You will, it, it definitely feels that you're going to come through this situation, um, a sense of accomplishment. I mean, certainly in terms of money and career, the Ten of Pentacles is that goal achievement, getting what you want, you will get there. Um, it is material wealth, uh, long-term material sustainability, uh, if you feel like you've missed out on some job, it, it feels for some of you that there's something better ahead. And it definitely feels in this situation that there's greater material gain coming your way as a result. Because the Ten of Cups is the rainbow of blessings. But remember the Ten of Cups is a card of productivity. The work that you put into something will generate this rainbow. You know, it's a blessing from the universe, but it's also... It's also energized and produced by the actions that you take. It's a card of productivity, Mars in Pisces. So there's definitely this kind of energy of what you're putting into, the productive energy that you're using now, it feels like it's delivering this. So very good in terms of money and career. Also, again, if you're moving home, looking to relocate in some way, it feels that you're going to get there. You know, it feels like there is some goal achievement here coming your way. Um, after some disappointment, I have to say, or missing out on something, or, or something falling through. Call it what you will. Uh, but this is what this energy is doing with Hermit. Regrouping, shining the light from within, and understanding how you need to move forward. Because the, the Seven of Cups is a card of can be a card of choices, but can also be a card of uh, it's time to focus on your hopes, dreams and wishes. In this situation, Virgo, it feels that something very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes is available to you. And it feels like it's resulting in some kind of goal achievement here. 
the, the Seven of Cups can be a card of making choices and you make choices with the Seven of Cups based on your intuition. Again, there's a, there's a great energy of you're being guided from within, you're being shown the way from within. If there's any confusion in how to move forward, this is about going within, shining the lamp, and reconnecting to your own illumination your own inner light to see the way you need to go in your external environment but the seven of cups is a card of you have options you have more options than you realize uh, there are opportunities around you it's a great energy of now following your hopes dreams and wishes or uh, something in line with your hopes dreams and wishes because it feels like it's manifesting with the three of pentacles which is the beginnings of success now this can be to do with team collaboration so it can be to do with if it's to do with money and career you might be setting up your own business with other people it can be that kind of energy and this is the beginnings of success the beginnings of seeing the money the return on your work come in again this energy of being productive you feeding that rainbow um can also be about the beginnings of success in money and career. So maybe some kind of opportunity uh, is, is happening here that is bringing in the manifestation of something new. Can be in terms of jobs, um, so very good in terms of money and career. This can also be about doing up home, doing up properties. It feels like you'll get your dream home. If something has fallen through and you were disappointed, Virgo, I'm definitely getting dream home or dream job. You know, it definitely feels that kind of energy because the three of cups is celebration, joy. The winter is over. The spring is here. This is where these people are beginning to receive the bounty for the hard work. So there's, and again, it can be a card of collaboration. So it feels in this situation, Virgo, I mean, somebody could be giving you advice or support. You know, that could be instrumental as well. Um, in, in bringing this, the level of the beginnings of success into your life. But it feels like you're getting some kind of dream opportunity here. And it's either to do with your dream home or your dream job. And that's why you're getting the rainbow of blessings in the advice from spirit, because this is not just being happy. This is being blissfully happy in every life area. But it's as a result of hard work. It's as a result of you know, feeding that rainbow and working with the universe in tandem to align to where you need to be to achieve that goal. So it feels very, very beautiful. Definitely two goal achievement cards here as well. So it feels, it feels like there is some kind of celebration, joy, happiness, um, very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes here coming into play. And it comes after some kind of disappointment so that's why you're being told here don't get down about what's lost or what hasn't worked out what's fallen through because again this is another 10 as well because it feels for some of you that there is some goal that is within your grasp some greater goal and it's almost kind of like your ancestral line is guiding you forward so if you need help ask for it because for some of you, the illumination that you're getting, I feel it's coming from your ancestral line as well as spirits guide the universe. It's very beautiful. And remember the Ace of Pentacles, it doesn't matter whether it's reversed or upright, it still is the helping hand card. So you're being given a helping hand this month. I love the reading, Virgo. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. Let's pull a final card for you. Final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo. I'll also say, Virgo, there could be a meeting this month. A meeting that you're attending that is resulting in a celebration. And that, that could be obviously in terms of real estate. That could be in terms of, of jobs, money, career, business ventures. There could be a, a meeting. Okay, yeah, I like this. We have Leaf Cutter Ant, Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. Oh my goodness, wow. I mean, look at this, ancestral line. Ask for help, seek support, you're not alone. 
and your ancestors as well. It definitely feels you're being watched over this month. It's very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Virgo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.